this uh, Excel file, or sorry, this YouTube video is to uh, show you how to do the auto correlations test on um, a data set. Okay, we're going to start with the one we ended with with the runs test. It's this caterpillar.xls file. It was in your lecture as well. And um, so what we have here is um, closing prices for Caterpillar stock. We've already run the runs test, shown that the data is not random because the p-value is under 0 0.05. Now we're gonna do the auto correlations test on it under add-ins, stat pro, summary stats, and auto correlations. That's where you find it. It really is as easy as that. Okay. And we wanna do it on these closing prices. Click okay. And okay. And do it on the closing prices okay yet again now I don't know how many lags to do so I just pick a large number it tells me I can choose 19 in this case okay so let's go back and choose 19 and let's just put it to the right of the data here okay so if you notice a whole bunch of the legs are significant numbers 1 through 11 Wow okay and if you'll see there's a bottom tab here AC close this guy right here it has all the legs and um, it shows you which ones are significant if they are red bars they are significant now what is a lag um, so a lag is the following if you were to take your closing prices all these guys and bump them down by one okay like that um, they are now lagged by one time step if you are instead to bump them down by two, that's a lag two, and so on and so forth. We'll see lags a little bit later in auto regression as well. Uh, now, what we care about for now is if any are significant or not. So the first 11, all 11 are significant here. Uh, what does it mean to be significant? It means that their uh, auto correlation factor is at least two times the size of the standard error. So these first 11, um, for them, that is true. After that, none of these guys have uh, twice the size of the standard error, so they're not considered significant. And that is the autocorrelations test.